So you're finally gonna train me, huh? First, how about a change of scenery? We're going behind the waterfall, bro. You follow? Behind the waterfall? Uh, just curious. Am I coming too? Sure. So, behind the waterfall. First, let's move to the other side. Then I'll show you a shocking surprise. Mm -hmm. Naruto, come on, let's check it out. idea there were these ruins here. So what kind of training is he going to do? He'll be fighting the Nine Tails here. Huh? Fight the Nine Tails? He doesn't have to do anything excessive, does he? Do you think you can achieve tailed beast control without being excessive? Fool? You fool? This is a sacred place where those selected as Jinchuriki have long come to undergo purification ceremonies. But, but... Captain Yamato, I came here to gain control over the Nine Tails' power. I have to do this. I'm not running away. Naruto? Okay, first you need to speak with your tailed beast. Go to that structure just ahead. Got it! Is this? You need to go in there, sit down, close your eyes and focus, and then you'll meet up with your tail beast. It's about time, you know? Naruto, are you sure about this? Once I say I'm going to do something, I never go back on my word. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Now let's go in. Chapter 4, The Birth of Naruto. Listen closely to my tale, yo. Naruto, what sealing jutsu was used to seal the Nine Tails? What sealing jutsu? Um... A tetragram seal. A tetragram seal, huh? Very impressive. A lot more solid than my own steel shell seal. So you have to undo the seal. What if he's not able to control him and the Nine Tails fully manifests? What then? We'll seal him away right here. That's what this place is for as well. Seal him? In here? But... That won't happen! I swear I'll succeed! Naruto... Okay, time to shut the door. Now, I'm gonna tell you how to deal with the Nine Tails. Naruto, you really impressed me. The rules are real simple, see? Once you greet the Nine Tails inside your mind, undo the seal. When the Nine Tails emerges, Grab its chakra with your chakra and pull hard. Chakra can only be captured using chakra. That's how it goes, yo. So steal the Nine Tails chakra directly from right under his nose. A warning. There's a chance that your chakra might get pulled from you when you try to take his. And you know what happens when your entire chakra is taken from you and dropped to zero, right? Yo! Spooky glare as usual. Naruto, you... 
Where the real you go, I don't sense him. I'm right here. Right in front of your eyes. What are you plotting? Haven't you figured it out already? Oh, I see. You're hoping to gain control over my power.
You stay here. Don't go anywhere. Naruto. Uh, huh? Where'd you come from? And how come you know my name? Uh, of course. Well then, why don't you guess who I am, Naruto? <laughs> Don't tell me. You got it? You! You're the Ninetales true form! <laughs> That's a scary laugh! Trying to trick me by taking that form? You're wrong, you know. Ow! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Sheesh, that hurt, you know. You know... I was born impatient. I talk so fast that sometimes weird things come out of my mouth, you know? I've been trying to stop, but when I get excited, I just say whatever I'm thinking. I hope you came out okay, without any weird verbal quirks like me. Then... Minato didn't say anything to you? <laughs> Shame on him. That's right. I am your... <laughs> I've... wanted to meet you for so long, you know? <laughs> you know, huh? You really are my child. like this, with your abominable chakra. Kushina! Mom? Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. Naruto, have you met your father, Minato? Dad? Dad once appeared and stopped the Ninetales during one of his rampages. I was really surprised when I saw him, too. Hmm. Speaking of which, why did you... Minato included my chakra in the ceiling jutsu, so I'd appear when you tried to control the Ninetales. So that I could lend you a hand. Right. What is it? Is there something on my face? No, no, it's just... I... I was thinking about how lucky I am to have such a beautiful mom. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. 
You have your father's hair, but I'm sorry you got stuck with my face, Naruto. Why? I got my good looks from you, right? I even wish I'd gotten your straight red hair. It's totally awesome! <laughs> that makes you the second man who has complimented my red hair. Yeah? So who's the first? Who do you think? Your father, of course. Oh, right! What is it? Hey, hey, there's something I've always wanted to ask you! How did you and Dad fall in love? Uh, it's a bit embarrassing, you know? Hey, you said you know! You're getting excited again! You say I'm getting flustered, not excited, you know? You said it again! <laughs> <sighs> when we first met, your father Minato and I were both still little kids. I had just moved from another village and entered the academy as a new transfer student. At the time, I was placed in the same class as Minato. My first impression of him was that he seemed rather... girly and... undependable. He said he wanted to become a Hokage, respected by everyone in the village, but it just sounded like a joke to me. What? But Dad seemed so powerful! I know, but I was still young and didn't know anything back then, so I looked down on Minato. Until a certain incident happened. An incident? I used to really hate my red hair. But after that incident, I started to like it. What happened? I have a slightly special chakra, and I was kidnapped by the Hidden Cloud Village because of it. You were kidnapped? They suddenly captured me and took me away to the Hidden Cloud Village, and I wasn't able to put up much of a fight. But I knew I had to do something in order to leave behind a trail while I was being led away. I snipped off and dropped strands of my hair, carefully, so the enemy wouldn't notice. The Hidden Leaf Village immediately put together search parties, but they had a hard time finding me. We were almost to the border, and I thought that I was done for. But then... Was that when... Yep. Minato was the one who rushed to my side and rescued me. He was the only one to notice the strands of my red hair. He told me it was because my hair is so pretty. That day... I knew Minato really would be a great ninja. I realized he could make all my dreams come true, and that he could change me. The red hair that I had always hated had brought me the man of my dreams. My hair became my red thread of destiny. After that, I grew to like my hair, and more importantly, fell in love with Minato. There are certain words I only bestow on the men who compliment my hair. Will you accept them? Huh? Naruto? I... love you. you. Wow. I feel so calm. And... so happy. Over 
overflowing with power! That was my chance! I'm ready! I'm gonna win this battle! Let the battle begin! I'll stop him!
Watch out. I promise I won't do wrong by you. So just hang in there for a little while. You did it, Naruto. Yeah. Hm? Mom, what are you... Now, I can finally join Minato. <sighs> but before I go, there are some things I need to tell you. Huh? About the incident that happened 16 years ago when you were born. I'm going to tell you the truth about that day. The day the Nine Tails attacked? Starting with the fact that the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails before you was me. You. Mom? You were. the Nine Tails Jinchuriki? Yes. I was brought to the leaf from the now vanished hidden Eddy village to become the Nine Tails vessel. The Nine Tails. Whoa, hold on a minute! They brought you here from another village? And. What do you mean by... Vessel? The clan folk of my village excelled at sealing jutsu, and had a very close relationship with the Hidden Leaf. I had a particularly powerful chakra, strong even for one from my village, enough to suppress the Nine Tails. So that's why you... were chosen to be the Nine Tails Vessel? Yes. What? What was wrong with them? They weren't even treating you like a person! I was brought to the Hidden Leaf Village without being told the truth, so I was shocked as well when I found out. The burden of being a Jinchuriki, the loneliness. I nearly collapsed under all the expectations. But during that difficult time, the Jinchuriki before me, Lady Mito Uzumaki, told me That I may have come here to be a vessel like her, but the key was to fill ourselves with love first. Then, even if we had to live as the Ninetales Jinchuriki, we could still be happy. So, Mom, you were a Jinchuriki, but you were happy? Yep. <laughs> oh, Naruto. There's no need for you to cry. Wait. What is it? Dad said that when the Nine Tails attacked the Hidden Leaf Village, it was because of that masked Akatsuki guy. So, how come you didn't have the Nine Tails, Mom? Your father left a few things out, I guess. Oh, that's right. Minato didn't have that much time with you. It's true that when the Nine Tails attacked the village 16 years ago, a masked man was behind it. But up until right before that, the Nine Tails was sealed inside me. So what happened? That masked man. I don't know how, but he knew. Knew what? The one time a Jinchuriki's seal weakens, he exploited that weakness and stole the Nine Tails from me. The one time the seal weakens? When's that? Childbirth. During the nine months or so between when a female Jinchuriki gets pregnant and gives birth, the energy that is normally used for the seal is diverted to the growing baby. And the tailed beast seal tends to weaken proportionally. It was October 10th, 16 years ago. By order of the third Hokage, I was to give birth inside a barrier at a distance from the village. This measure was taken in case the seal came undone when I gave birth and the Nine Tails got out. Minato was going to be there for the birth, and the preparations were progressing smoothly. Everything related to the birth, though, was top secret.
In that case, I'll go on ahead. You'll be okay, right? If the contractions start, get someone nearby to help, okay? I'll rush back to help out too, as soon as I can. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Ninja will meet you at the Hidden Leaf Gate, so be sure to have them accompany you, understand? And... Minato, you're treating me like a child. No, that's not how I meant it. It's just... That overprotective habit of yours is never gonna change, is it? Don't worry, I'm okay. So go on ahead and get everything set up already. Kushina. Listen, we're about to be parents. If we freak out about everything, Naruto will just laugh at us. Yeah, I guess so. We can't look weak in front of Naruto. Exactly. Okay, fine. I'm going on ahead then. I'll see you later, inside the barrier. Good grief. I can kind of understand panicking a bit in this kind of situation. But, in just a little while, we'll be able to meet you.